up? Over here watching uh, Evo Top 8 and Tekken 7. I really want to go to Evo one year. Just to go see and check it out. But uh, that's some other time. Anyway, uh, the computer's doing great. I end up moving the reservoir over and having it mount to um, the case and separating it from the pump. Yeah, but everything is still the same. Everything still works. No leaks so far. This is staying cooled. I think I'm thinking about changing out the water block. They made this uh, new water block that I saw that was made uh, specifically for this motherboard. But, I don't know, it costs just as much as the water block for the GPU. And I don't know if I want to spend the money yet. Anyway, moving on to today's video. Um, let's go and grab what I need. I haven't uh, touched this thing in a while because I never got a hole saw to fit this. I picked it up the other day. And let me grab that. Yep, it is a 29 mil or a one and one eighth hole saw. That should be good enough for the um, regular size buttons or the 30, the 28, 30 millimeter buttons. Now I gotta figure out how to open this. Oh, I did screw it back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, yeah mount that so i could cover up the hole and make it look like you could hook up the remote to it but yeah the remote section of it doesn't hook up to anything so that's not going to work i just got to find the screws to mount that i don't know where i put any of the screws actually uh okay well i found a bag of screws i didn't, i don't know if that's gonna work well let's try it out and see I don't even know what these go to. Um, hard drives? Maybe. I doubt it. Oh, nice. It doesn't connect to anything. Okay. Okay, so change the plans. There's no mounting holes for these. Well, for the screws. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Alright, so now I have to go downstairs and pick up the drill. And make these holes for the buttons. Uh, yeah. I need to grab something to eat first though. Maybe just a quick snack. Get some pre-workout in. Oh, breakfast is done. One night in the rain and she's filthy. I always tell she's filthy because the rear always has water or rain stains or water marks and shit so i need that adapter and that drill i get it later all right oh yeah oh okay what's up uh yeah let's get out of here because i don't have any ac in here and i've been driving around so my back is sweaty, my ass is sweaty. Ugh. But I went ahead and got the car cleaned. Just a quick uh, rinse and dry. It's all shiny and shit now. Uh, I gotta pocket these because I only have two hands. I can't record and carry a bunch of shit. And hopefully all this stuff doesn't weigh my pants off while I'm walking up the stairs. Yeah. So I need this and my drill. But yeah, I just got back from the gym and the car wash. So I'm good for the day. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. 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 So, 
so first things first let's open this up i bought this like maybe last week when uh we were messing around with robert's car or went to robert's house to get an impact because i need to take the passenger seat out in the car but the impact didn't work so i went ahead and got this while we were at home depot and of course it doesn't fit why why well i guess that concludes our video because the adapter does not fit yeah it's not gonna work I mean, this is too big. I don't know, maybe. Let me see. Actually, this might not be big. But then again, I don't want to mess up the only case. You know what? So I bought that for nothing. Um, might have some other use for it. Let's drill a hole and see how it goes. If it's too big, then this case is scrapped. But if it fits, then that'll be great. Ooh. I don't know, man, that shit looks too big. Smell nothing but burnt plastic now. Do I have a filer up here? That would be great. No, I don't have a filer. It fits. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess I'll just drill the rest of the holes. Had to. I had to. <laughs> anyway. So, went ahead and finished the, uh, the holes on the casing or the shelf. And I went ahead and filed the edges around the holes. I went downstairs and did it. I didn't think I needed to film it, so I didn't bother. Now, we can go ahead and fill these holes up with buttons hopefully though i have enough um i don't see why i shouldn't i also bought an extra ground wire with a 10 point connection i have a spare one two three four five six point connection for the ground just in case i need it for something one two three Seven, eight. All right. All right. So let's see. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Too close. Well, let's see how it turns out. Turns out I need to file down this notch right here. I'll do that later. Right now, I want to get the rest of the buttons in. Um, X is blue, right? Yeah, and then square is pink, and triangle is green. Oh, I don't have a green one. Oh, wait, my green one's on my main one. This is too small, so I can't use this. Okay. I guess the rest of the buttons are going to be blue. I guess I should order black ones, but man, that's a whole $4. $4, $3 for a button, man, that's expensive i'm not like omar 
Or you could just drop 800 bucks on a video card out of nowhere. Just saying. Just saying, man. Just saying. Okay, so uh, that pretty much concludes today's video. Uh, so I need to wire up the PCB board and get a new button um, and figure out some mounting um, screws, hardware. I think I have some, but these are these are too short, and uh, this one is definitely too long. But I need one with a nut, so I got this. I got these, but they might be too short, and they probably won't reach. I don't know, I'll figure something out. I'll probably have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to find some screws and some nuts or some bolts and some nuts. Pretty good so far. I think it is coming along very well. The buttons don't move. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully in my next one, I'll be able to finish this up since I already got the holes drilled and have a new button come in. Uh, first, I need to order it and take a drink. I'll see you guys in the next one.